Hello students, Miss Lockhart here. Let's finish our one point perspective drawing with the warm colors. If you used cool colors last time, you'll be using warm this time. Or if you used warm colors last time, you'll use cool colors this time. So I'm showing you all these different warm color options. You can use markers, crayons, even a highlighter works. Warm colors are like fire colors, red, oranges, and yellows. And cool colors are like water, blue, purple, green. Now I'm gonna outline most of my pencil drawing with markers, and then I'm going to color it in. And I'm gonna use as many of my warm colors that I have in my background and make it look super fun. So you can follow along with me or really color it in however you would like. Just make sure you use only warm or only cool colors. Okay, so I'm outlining the tops of the mountains and where the sun is going to be. And like I said, you can color this in however you would like. Just use those warmer, cool colors. Okay, I really wanted to show you how I make these mountains look overlapped. Like one mountain is in front of the other. There are layers of mountains. And the best way to make them look overlapped is by outlining the line. I'll show you one more time here, I'll do it. Outlining the line that comes over the mountain behind it. So watch and I'll show you. That left mountain, see the, the pencil line on the left mountain? That will be the last. There it is, that little line I did that goes in front of the mountain behind it. That's the important line that you do to make sure it looks like it's overlapped.
So now you can see I'm adding a lot of detail with these lines on the sun. I added some details in the mountains doing lines going up and down. And I even added some sun rays in the background with more lines. So go ahead and add lots of details. And then you can start coloring in your mountains and your background. So you can see I have used crayons and markers just like I did in the foreground or the front of the drawing, which is really fun because then you, the crayons look a little bit lighter and the markers are darker. So that's why the markers are great for outlining and the crayons are great for coloring in. You can also color in with markers too, just like you see me do here. Okay, so I'm gonna finish coloring these mountains and it's gonna speed up in just a moment. When you're finished coloring your background with warm or cool colors, depending on which ones you did in the front, you can turn your drawing into me. You can submit your artwork to me in Schoology. In your art course, you will find an assignment that says submit your one point perspective drawing and follow the directions. Go ahead and submit it to me. I cannot wait to see what you've made. 
Thank you so much for following along and participating. Bye, everyone.